Hello, today I'm going to talk about hyponasal speech and hypernasal speech. And first of all, hyponasal speech. Today my speech is pretty hyponasal because I have just recovered from COVID and I still am a little congested. Maybe I have a sinus infection, I don't know. But whenever you have a cold or you're congested, your voice will become more hyponasal, meaning less nasal. Hypo is the prefix meaning less, hypo. So it's less nasal because I'm congested. And that just means that whatever would normally, the air that would normally go up through the mouth and into the nasal cavity is less able to do so because there's stuff blocking it off. And sometimes people, when they have enlarged tonsils or adenoids, that will also kind of block off that passageway in between the oral cavity and the nasal cavity. And they will also have hyponasal speech like this all the time until they get that fixed. And some people might have hypernasal speech, meaning more nasal. Hyper is more. And that just means that the air is going through all the time too much, even on the sounds where it's not supposed to be. Normally we have a little um, flap at the back of our throat um, oral cavity here. I'm going to try to show you on the computer. And if you see this blue area here, you can see how normally the air would be able to come from the oral cavity and then up through into the nasal cavity. And this thing will sometimes come and block it off when necessary so that all of our sounds don't sound like ins and ms and ings. Um, and if for some reason that's not working, or maybe you had your tonsils out and they took a little bit too much off the top there, um, that can also make it so that too much air is going through all the time. So um, all this means is that um, if you feel like your voice is too hyponasal, too stuffed up sounding, or too hypernasal, um, too, too nasally, um, then you might want to check with a specialist like an ENT doctor, ear, nose, and throat doctor, and see what they say about that. So at any rate, that is a brief summary of hypernasal speech and hyponasal speech.